12 crews competing, of course, and the first three from each race to go through to the grand final, and Denmark in lane six. And what we're seeing here is all bar the Danes were grand finalists at Lucerne last month, where Germany took gold, followed by Italy and Sweden with silver and bronze, and the I Irish fourth, Netherlands fifth. So uh, Germany have had to be squeezed out into ostensibly one of the slower lanes there, lane one. But that doesn't seem to uh, bother them too much because they've gone very fast away from the blocks. Yes, Ireland seemed to be, uh, seemed to be slow away there. Uh, half asleep, I think. Won't be very pleased with that. Don't want to drop anything unless you can possibly help it. Germans have built on their uh, fourth place last year. Their stern pair is out of that boat. They brought in a, two new bowmen, one of whom uh, brought with him experience from uh, Prague in 93, where he took bronze as part of the German lineup on that state in uh, that occasion. But the Italians, certainly with all the recent pedigree from last year at Indianapolis and again from Lucerne. So three to qualify from this, the first of these two heats, semi-finals of the men's lightweight quadruple skulls. As they approach the 500 meter mark, Germany in lane one, lead through. Pretty tight on the next couple of places. Ireland, I think, at the moment, lie in fourth position. Ireland, Italy uh, have brought in one crew replacement each since uh, they medalled at uh, Lucerne, so it'll be interesting to see whether they can uh, do what the uh, French and Italian pairs did earlier in the programme and really make those replacements count. Uh, in, this, uh, in this event, uh, cruising speed is cruising speed is very very important because uh, these boats are moving at very close to their maximum speed uh, for virtually the whole race. They can make slight variations in pace, but it's really about their base race pace. As with all the other lightweight events, there's very little to choose between them in terms of height and weight. A couple of pounds, no more. So one can expect close racing particularly when you get to this sort of level. But these boys, I can tell you, are flat out. Quadruple skulls, of course, the uh, second fastest status of rowing, second only to eights in terms of their overall speed. So these boats will be moving along at about 12 or 13 knots. And quadruple scull sculling, when done very well, as we're seeing right now, is sheer poetry for the spectator and something different for the competitor right in the boat. It's a very, uh, it's a very good boat uh, in, w in which to compete, uh, I have to tell you. It's uh, much, in fact, much more like rowing than sculling in many ways. Because the boat is moving so fast, you have to be very, very quick onto the catch. Otherwise, the boat will slip past and you won't even have got hold of it. Great shot there of the Swedish quad. Pushing hard. At the moment, a little bit of a struggle between them and Ireland for that third qualifying slot. The Danish quad there in a wooden boat, uh, made in Switzerland. Unusual. Nowadays, almost all the boats uh, in the larger events are plastic or plastic carbon. But there's a particular firm in Switzerland that specialises in these boats. And it's uh, they're truly magnificent craft. They're made out of a single piece, single skin of cedar. And they're a pleasure to row in. Pleasure to look at and pleasure to row in. So Italy maintaining their lead in this uh, first semi of the men's lightweight quads. Germany and Sweden vying for second and third slots. Ireland slipping back. They're going to let this race run away with, uh, from them if they're not uh, too careful. 500 metres still to go, and only three to qualify for the grand final tomorrow. The Irish, uh, as usual, great competitors. They won't let this go unless they can possibly help it. And I think we're boiling up to a big finish. Germany, although leading, don't have a great deal to play with. 
And as the crews approach the 250 meter mark, it's still Germany leading with the final two places to qualify, still in a little doubt. So the Germans go through, 250 to go. Italians pushing hard. 30 strokes to go. And Sweden and Ireland toughing it out for that final qualifying place. Ireland about half a length to make up if they're going to do it. Racing hard now over these closing stages. Anxious glances from all the competitors looking at each other. You can hear the crowd boiling up. Ireland fighting tooth and nail to get back on terms with the Swedes. The Swedes still maintain a slight lead over the Irish for this qualifying position. The Swedes, in fact, going up on Italy now. I think Ireland are going to be out of it. Germany still lead, got about three quarters of length over the Italians. The Swedes coming through. Germany qualify, Italy second, Sweden third, and Ireland just out of it in fourth. <laughs>